Hello, I'm Jose with Free Sky North America. In today's video, we're going to go through the process of updating the firmware in your Pilot Gear controller. The process for updating the firmware is a little bit different on devices like the Pilot Gear controller and the RB35 that have their own built in voltage regulator. When updating the firmware, you want to power the PGC separately through the VBAT port. Um, and update it with the update cable. So we're going to go through that process right now. Okay, the first step obviously is download the firmware. So let's open up Ethos Suite on my computer. Let me maximize it. Go to Download Center. And we will go to Accessories. And scroll down until we get to the Pilot Gear Controller. You have the option of either flashing the firmware directly from Ethos Suite or downloading the firmware. And when you download the firmware, you can put it into your radio and now it's there. And if you need to update something later on, that's what I prefer. So I always prefer to download. Let's go ahead and download this. And I'm gonna to go to desktop. And what I like to do is I'll create a folder somewhere like either in documents or on my desktop where my, all my former lives. So let's just go ahead and do that for this. So I'm going to go over here, folder, and let's call this one Free Sky Firmware. Open that up. We'll select that folder. And it is now downloaded. Now you can go over here and open the folder. Okay, so we have the firmware downloaded, it is zipped. So what I like to do to unzip it is I'll go ahead and open it, take the file, control copy, go up a level, control V. Now it is um, unzipped. I can go ahead and delete this if I want to. So let's delete the zipped one and there we go. So now we have the, the firmware there. Next thing that we'll do is we'll go back to the transmitter and we'll plug in the USB cable. Choose Ethos Suite. Go back to the computer and look for the radio drive. So this one over here, it's the one that has audio, bitmaps, um, documents, firmware, models. So this is the um, folder that you want to put your um, firmware in. So in here, I have a folder called firmware, and I use that one to put all my firmware in. So all we got to do is take this folder and put it into that firmware folder. Okay, that's done. I'm going to go ahead and use Ethos Suite. Uh, actually, before I do that, we can go ahead and update the Lua script for PGC at this point too. So if we take a look over here, PGC, and mine is up to date, but if you did need to, you can just go over here and go to PGC and install it, but mine's already there. So um, uh, mine's there and is updated. I'm okay with this. So we can now close this. But before we do, I'll go over here and eject the drives. Okay. The drives are now ejected, and now I'm free to disconnect the USB cable. Travel not idle. Fail safe not set. Switch warning. FMS about. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is actually update the firmware. So I'm going to go over here to System. Go over to File Manager, Firmware, and find that folder. It's the 1.4 PGC. Okay. Now, before we start, we got to get ready. So what we need to do is we need to plug in um, a regular servo cable, female to female. And we want to go into the S port over here. And then on the transmitter, we want to go ahead and plug this in to here. And the the yellow wire or the signal wire is towards the notch. 
The PGC is always powered by the VBAT port. And because of that, even when we update, we need to apply power. Now, if this was an RB35 or a different device, you don't want power going in over here and also in through this um, uh, S port or the update port. And you would need to disconnect the red pin. So like on an RB35, you want to make sure to use the connector supplied that is only black and yellow. But on the PGC itself, the center pin of that port and all the ports below it do not have power. And so in that case, it is okay to leave that red wire plugged in. So now we are ready to update. What you want to do, you want to choose the .frsk file and choose flash external device. So once I click enter, then I get ready to apply power into the unit. I think it's this way. So over here, enter, flashing, and plug the power in. And now it's flashing. Okay, it looks like it is done. We can disconnect this and we'll reboot the power. So I'll unplug it and plug it back in. And there it goes. So I'm just gonna go over here to info, press and hold menu. And there it is, version 1.4. And that's it. So that's the process for updating the Pilot Gear controller. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video or email me at jose at freesky-rc.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.